Hey there, JD. If I, I want to show you a quick way you can do a, 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 a 13 sus a, a sus 13 chord. All right, very simple way you can do it. Look at it. Simple way to do it is all you're gonna do is with your left hand. Say we're gonna build it off the key of C. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the fifth of that key. One, two, three, four, five, and we're gonna play a uh, minor seven chord. Any kind of way that we like to play that fifth up. So for example, if I'm doing C, right, I go up a fifth, G is my note. Any kind of way I can play a G minor 7 chord, I can play a basic like this. It's going to give me a C 13 sus. The way it is, left hand I got a C and C, right hand I got a my G is my fifth, B flat is my dominant 7, D is my 9, and F right here is my sus, my fourth, my 11. Right. Now the way I like to voice mine, particularly, I like to voice mine um, like this. I like to voice, um, so for example, if I was playing a, um, a G, I like to play this inversion with the 7th, 9th, minor 3rd, and 5th. So that's going to give me the same thing as C13 sets, but that's the voice that I like to use. So I got an F, G, I'm sorry, an F, A, B flat, and D. So if I want to do it over a B flat, I go to my fifth, I'm gonna play F minor seven. Right. If I want to go to a uh if I want to do it on G flat, I go to my five, play a minor uh five chord. Just play a minor seven off that five. Like I said, you can play it root, you know, play it any kind of way. You want to root position, I just like to play mine, invert it. If I want to do it off of B, I come and I play a G, I play uh, off my 5 and G flat. If I want to do it off my E flat, I go to my 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Like that. Now, this chord can be used as a uh, it replaces a two five one. I like to use it, and I like to use it to replace a two, uh, the whole two five one chord, uh, chord progression. For example, if I was in the key of C, my regular two five one right here. All right. So what I would do, I play my two chord. I play. Uh, I'm playing a D, and so I'm going up and playing my A minor set, A minor nine chord. Voice with my seven, nine, minor third, and fifth. Alright, for my 5, I come down and do the same thing, D minor. It's gonna give me a G13 sus. And my 1 chord. Now, the good thing about these chords, they don't have a third in it, so it doesn't imply minor or major. So you can pretty much use them anyway. If I want to build that same um, chord 2 5 1 chord progression in the key, I don't know, key of A flat. Alright, my 2 is gonna be here, so I'm gonna play F minor. Five here, so I'm gonna play a B flat minor, and then to my one, it's gonna be A flat. All right, if I want to do it in the key of B major, all right, two is gonna be D flat. I'll go up to a five, play a minor chord. It's gonna be an A flat minor. Five is gonna be here. Go to my five D flat. So it's a pretty simple concept, you know, once again in the key of C, I'm going to go to a fifth and play any kind of minor, seven chord I can off that fifth, your favorite one, this happens to be my favorite, two, five, here, playing a D minor nine chord. That way I don't really have to think about it, I can throw on the spot uh, chord changes. Also that D minor chord, I can play that D minor seven chord like this. Any inversion will work, but that's the one I like. And then it brings me smoothly to your one chord. Alright, so I hope that helped. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks.